I forgot we have three horses and two humans, as it should be. Welcome back to our horse focused legacy challenge slash playthrough in The Sims. Uh, the purpose of this playthrough is to highlight all of the content from the recent-ish um, horse ranch pack. I love horse stuff. So we're playing the horses, we're playing the Sims, but horses. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I mentioned this earlier, this is a five generation legacy challenge that I've been working on. Um, each generation is meant to focus on a different aspect of the horse ranch pack. So our first generation, which is the generation that we're playing currently, focuses on some of the like community elements of the pack. So uh, our Sim makes all of her money by doing community jobs from the community job board. And she focuses on bringing together the community by hosting different parties. She's really like, she loves parties. Her thing is parties. Um, so yeah, that's sort of where we are. I think, I think we just got married last. Yeah, I think we, oh, we need to, I need to change their last names back to Gallup. We just got married last episode. Um, I don't think we've done anything else, but I am really excited to start. Who is asleep in the Oh, it's the horse. Sorry, I saw it from this angle and I was like, who is this? It's just, it's just our sleepy horse. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm really excited to be sort of like getting closer to having our next generation sim. The second generation is going to focus on nectar making, which I'm really excited for. Uh, but we have a little bit more to do still with our first gen sim. We have a kind of a lot to do with party stuff. So the, the goal for, for each generation of this challenge, I wanted the Sim to build up a different part of the ranch. So we started with like basically nothing here. Um, we used the beginning, like the starter money to create a small house uh, and also some like stable, like really simple stables for horses. Um, and that's it. So we've started creating this like, I think I've been calling it the party barn, which feels like the right thing to say. Like, I, I think that that captures it. Uh, but my goal is to have this like party hosting social area totally built up by the end of our first generation. And I want our first generation to complete the party animal aspiration. So that is what we're working on. Uh, yeah, okay. Our, our spouse is headed off to work. I still haven't picked up this patch. I really need to. I really, I think you might not know this about me, but I am a horse person. I really love horses. I've loved horses ever since I was young. I really, <laughs> and I've a thousand percent leaned into it on this channel. Um, so I knew before I started playing, I knew that this pack was going to be like great for me um but i have enjoyed it so much more than i expected i really like the like not horse stuff as well like there's other animals that are really cute anyways okay so let's see what we were up to i just want to see if we had oh what is oh we're we have some holidays coming up soon and then birthdays oh yes i think a thing that i was thinking about doing is hosting like I want to host parties for like events so I think maybe we could hope we could potentially host like a dinner party for harvest fest that could be interesting and then we could also host birthday parties for maybe we could we do like a joint birthday would it let you do that I don't know probably not oh right we're at the part of the aspiration where we need to attend social events at five unique locations so we have to plan parties but not host them at home which for the most part so far all of our parties we've hosted at home because that was like that was sort of the point of creating this like social barn area uh, but that's okay we can host some other parties oh i also forgot we were gardening oh i think we i think 
I think Dwayne was gardening because his his work is right. Yep. Yep. He's doing the like gardening work. Okay. Anyways, let's do first things first. I think I want to see if I can edit them in Kaz really quickly and update their last names. Um, I'm, I'm just going to change both of them to have Ray's original last name, which was Gallup. Because, you know. Because, you know. And we'll get... You can take uh, Ray's last name. Boom. Great. All right, and I think maybe while Dwayne's at work, we can have Ray. First, let's have her clean up from the wedding. <laughs> so I think they literally just had their wedding. We had it at our own house. Oh, I guess I could have them like go on a honeymoon or something, but I don't know, would they? They've got horses. Where are they gonna go? Genuinely shivering in my house today, so looking at him in that open shirt is making me feel cold. <laughs> Dwayne does not get cold. I have just decided. All right. Um, first of all, oh, that's something growing. What is this? A trash plant? No, let's get rid of that, actually. I don't think we need the trash plant. <laughs> Uh, and then I think I'm just gonna have Ray literally clean everything up. So we have all these like dirty dishes in here from the party. Oh, it's so gross. A rotten cake. Oopsies. And then here is our little wedding area, which honestly I might leave the arch here because it's kind of cute but I think we should clean up the chairs. Oh, and all of the horses are still asleep. Wow. Honestly impressive. And we're pretty good on money. I don't actually know how we got, oh, I think that we got, when <laughs> when Dwayne moved in with us, I think we took some of his household money, uh, which I think is fair. Um, also Dwayne works. Oh, she's, she's neat. So she does not like being around dirty stuff, but, we have to clean up. I'm sorry. We just have to. Um, and also, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we did, but we have a good amount of money. So we don't have to like, there was a while where I was constantly trying to find time to have her do the community job board postings, which I actually really like. So this is new with this. It's part of the, the horse ranch pack. Um, but you can do all these different like community jobs and you get paid more if you're if you have like higher horse riding skill and if your horses have higher of like the different skills that are required so like this one requires the horse endurance skill this one requires the horse temperament skill anyways so you get paid more for different stuff which is really cool so there was a while where we were doing those a lot but now she can just focus on cleaning up the house okay she's really She's really mad about being around dirty stuff. Sorry. Is something broken or is that, that might be horse pee. Okay, well, after she finishes that, she can mop. And then are there any leftovers that she can eat? Yep. Oh yeah, people really just left plates everywhere. <laughs> There's some over here. <laughs> ah, local green thumbs are holding a harvest off a speed grow contest to see which horticulturist can produce the biggest and best produce. What does Dwayne do? Focus effort on cultivating a fruit finalist or spectate the contest for fun as a farming fan? Oh. Okay, so Dwayne has recently started gardening but he's not like a pro yet i think for now he would just spectate he's trying to learn fun okay he had some amount of fun doing that so that's good all right oh yeah she's gonna uh, she can eat and then mop or 
Okay, mop first. Mop first and then eat your food. <sighs> oh, it says Dwayne doesn't enjoy competition. I sort of like the idea of Dwayne being like, you know what? I don't need to compete. I'll just observe. Okay, and then she can eat this. And then maybe we'll see if we can plan an event Okay, attend social events at five unique locations. Click on the phone to plan a party. You can plan events at locations other than your home lot. Once the event starts, complete the goals that pop up to earn a higher score. The only problem is that I don't remember what <laughs> what lots I have had events, like planned events previously. So we can just guess and go somewhere that I am pretty sure we haven't been yet. I like the idea of being able to like finish her this section of the aspiration this week and then maybe maybe Ray could get pregnant right before her birthday hmm? do you know about the ladybug reckoning because Robin just educated me and it's happening the ladybug reckoning no I need so much more context like uh, so much more <laughs> what are you talking about are we uh, at risk of ladybug something <laughs> What? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Should I worry? <laughs> There's so many ladybugs outside. What? Is it like a time of year thing or a... What's... Tell me more. Are ladybugs going to take over the world? Yeah, that's where exactly immediately where my brain went. <laughs> Should I worry? Is it a regional thing? Are they gonna be, are there gonna be a bunch at my house? <laughs> I love lady, li <laughs> yeah, I also think that they're cute. <laughs> they're great for plants, they eat aphids. What are aphids? What, is that another type of bug? When it's cold and then gets randomly very warm, ladybugs wake up and they're everywhere. Huh? There's 23 on my door frame? Okay, that's excessive. Are they, is there a concern? Are, are they bad in any way? Or like, can we, can we be jazzed about this? Is it all right to be happy? <laughs> I love ladybugs and they are amazing for the garden. And they're supposed to be lucky. Okay, Ariel, you just got the best luck of all time. All right, what is she wanting to do? Oh, she wants to dance. Yeah, you go dance, go have fun. Um, okay, let's have Ray. Maybe while Dwayne is at work, <laughs> let's see if we can like plan an impromptu social event while Dwayne is off at work. She's like, bye, honey. Have a nice time at your gardening job. I'm so glad that we're married. I need to have another party. She just loves a party. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, it's not, it's not until 6 p.m. But sh would she go to this? That doesn't feel like her vibe. Let's see if we can add an event. Let's plan a little event, see what we can do. 74 here and then 60s all the rest of the week. It's like, I think the high here is mid 70s, which it's been in like high in the 50s for the last couple of days. So kind of wild. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think that what we've been doing is like hosting house parties and dinner parties just at like random people's houses. <laughs> so I think just having, cause also for this one, we just have to attend social events at five unique locations. They don't have to be like silver star or gold star or anything. So they don't even have to be good. <laughs> what if we just have an impromptu house party somewhere maybe we can we can plan it for later tonight after Dwayne gets off work hang on let's do that <laughs> uh we just need two more I'd really I like the idea of getting two social events like early on in the in the week and then hopefully she can host something for harvest fest or birthday and stuff yeah yeah yeah. Okay. House party. 
Um, Ray's gonna host it at someone else's house. Just, you know, normal things. Totally fine, not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I think we hosted one at Molly Prescott's house already. All right, let's invite some of our friends. Jacob, always have to have Jacob at a party. And, okay. Where is our um, husband? Can we not invite? Okay, well, <laughs> never mind, Dwayne. You're not coming, I guess. <laughs> he like wasn't on the list, maybe because he's at work right now, but it doesn't have to be right now. We can start it at, yeah, 5 p.m. feels reasonable. Um, where have we... Have we had, uh, I don't know where we've had, I feel like we might have had a party there already. We, I'm pretty confident that we haven't had a party at the goth residence. Ooh, or somewhere in San Machino. Oh. We have an ad break happening right now. I'm gonna try to finish planning this party and then I'm gonna step away to take a little ad break, break time, rest my eyes, do a stretch, all that stuff. Let's have it at the goth house. What could go wrong? Oh, I just planned it like super fast. I didn't even, oh, I can edit it, can't I? So I can add more guests. What I'm thinking is that if I'm having it at the goth house, I should probably make sure that a goth is invited. Wait, okay. Oh yeah, Cassandra goth. We're friends, she's invited, we're good, boom. House party starts at 5 p.m. at the goth house. Easy, easy. All right, we'll let her finish her dance. <laughs> yeah. I checked in on Ren, he is sunbathing. Hello? Is this Kiyoshi Ito? With a lump of clay. Uh, freaky yibs, freaky yibs. <laughs> What's he saying? Oh. I just... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do all the Sims walk around with a lump of clay? What are they doing with it? Why? Why is it there? <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Is it like from a... I, I don't need to know. There's some things I don't need to know, and that's one of them. All of the horses are still sleeping, which is like a little bit suspicious, especially because at least some of them are hungry. Like, what are they doing? Hey, I heard you and Wolfgang Munch are good friends now. <laughs> yeah, we are. All right, can y'all please eat? Please wake up and eat, bud. Oh, nice. Dwayne's home. Like, the horses are just... We just got a negative... So okay, positive social interaction. <laughs> Kronk was, like, pissed that she asked him to come eat. They're all still asleep. Wake up. Oh yeah, okay, let's wake up the horses. I'm concerned. <laughs> They've just been sleeping all day. If this is a bug... Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Horses awake. Totally good. But see, look, now Dusty's very uncomfortable from low fun and hungry. Why did they nap all day? Actually, you know what? I can relate to this. Have you ever been really, really hungry, but you're just... It's a nap day. I get it. I'm there. I take it all back. It makes perfect sense now. Sorry. <laughs> That's one secret they'll never tell. 
<laughs> Look at them. They're all uncomfortable. They're like, oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't had any fun. I'm dirty. All right. <laughs> Let's check in with Kronk for a minute here. Poor buddy, like. Okay, we have a party to go to, but at 5 p.m. It's a house party. I really don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fine. I feel like at this point, she doesn't, she's like, I don't I don't even need to plan a party. I just tell everyone where to be and when, and boom, easy. It starts soon, but we don't need to go just yet. We'll wait until like 4.30 maybe? Okay, hygiene is good. Nice, you're eating. Okay, so the horses are gonna be fine. They're gonna take care of themselves. They're gonna be okay. Dwayne is staying home because weirdly, <laughs> I didn't invite him. <laughs> Wait, why can't I? Why can't I? Why is there, why is there not a button to go to event? It's fine. <laughs> I can't edit it now that we're too close to the event, so. <laughs> okay. Dwayne, can you be on playful? Wow, okay. Can you be on horse duty? Thoughts on that? Um, yeah, clean hooves. And oh, scratch neck. I want the brush coat. There we go. I'm just gonna load. I don't know if, I feel like sometimes it's, oh, hand feet. Oh, that's right. Dwayne grows stuff. So he has like stuff that he can feed the horses. Boom. I feel like sometimes when I leave a lot with my sim, it doesn't actually continue. Like, I don't know if any, if Dwayne will actually do any of this stuff, but we'll see. We'll cross our fingers. Um, all right, let's have, Wait, let me just confirm where the party is. Ophelia Villa. Was she gonna clean that up? Okay, you can throw it away. And then... We'll have her, we'll just manually go there. Cause I missed the like window to just click the button to take us to the event. Oopsies. That's my bad. Oh, it's time to be real. If anyone else is 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 real. Now's the time. Where's Ophelia Village? Is it like is this where it is? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm taking my B-roll photo. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay. This is where we're going, right? Who are all of these people? They have three dogs. Four dogs. I can't count. <laughs> Anyways, let's go here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Does the goth family normally have four dogs or is this just like what my game has done after with because of like neighborhood stories? Either way, I'm happy for them. I'm on board. Flip bug. Oh my God, Kenny. <laughs> I do know. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Look, oh my god. Okay, stop. They're little. <laughs> they're adult dogs, but they're so tiny. Oh my god. Look at their little dogs. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god. Also, this dog is named Tom. Oh, I love Tom. Oh my God. I'm a Tom fan.
Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good view of Tom. Oh my god, look at these dogs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, anyways, sorry. I don't know why. I just needed to investigate them. <laughs> They're so baby. Okay. Hello, Cassandra. We have like four minutes until our party starts. Yanabi. House party is about to begin. Let's start. House party. I really hope that we haven't had a party here before. I don't think that we have. Let's see if they let us in. <laughs> I love this part specifically about throwing a party in someone else's house that we have to like knock on the door and ask to be like let into the house. <laughs> it's not our house. <laughs> he... Okay, who just stood right? Is that Kyoshi Ito? <laughs> Kyoshi Ito just stood right between us. He was like, were you talking? Perfect. Oh my gosh. I forgot that this is what the the goth house looks like. All right, what do I have to do for a house party? Nothing, just exist. All right. Are there normally goals? Um, okay, I think we should do a howdy introduction to Mortimer Goth. That feels incredible. That feels good. That feels just right to me. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm getting a phone call. More money and prestige, but more work and responsibility. Should I try to get a promotion? Yeah, go for it. That seems great to me, probably. Nice. Thanks for the encouragement. Sure thing. Okay, look at them. Look at her with her cowboy boots, talking to Mortimer God. Is that like a little... Oh my gosh. I've never noticed that before. Like the little train thingy. What are, what are those called? Anyways, that was cool. Okay. Cool. Cool stuff. Yep, that's a good interaction. Oh gosh, Kiyoshi Ito is lighting a fire. That seems safe. Also, Kiyoshi Ito. I like this outfit. Uh, thank for coming. Hello. Hello. Heartfelt compliment. Love that. <laughs> Mortimer Goth is just part of the party now. I, d I thought we had like goals that we had to do for house party, but maybe not. Maybe I should meet these dogs. Oh, maybe we should introduce ourselves to Bella Goth. I think we should do a polite introduction. Hello, Bella Goth. That's what we'll say. Hello. <laughs> maybe we should meet all the dogs as well. I forgot, like, what's, what an interesting house. Friendly introduction to the dog. Nice. Oh my gosh, good friends. Oh, I forgot I used the like polite one, which uses my like, I don't know, re good reputation or something. <laughs> Looks like Ray just befriended a family motivated Sim. In terms of Sim preferences, would you say Ray likes? Yeah. I feel like Ray is going to be like excited about having and starting and growing a family. So I think being around other Sims that like family is, is super on brand or like enjoying being around Sims. Oh, Molly just stole Bella's sandwich. Did you see that? Bella got out that sandwich, put it down there for her to eat and Molly just walked away with it. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. I love Ray. Ray is so cool. We made such a cool hair or such a cool sim with a cool hairstyle. We can do banter with old friend. That's so cute. They've been friends since high school. They went to high school together. Um oh. Hello. We just teleported. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Oh, yes. We have to do a friendly introduction to Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom the dog. Nice. 
Are we friends? Yay, acquaintances. I like that she is getting along with the dogs. I feel like it would be like, I do, I really like the idea of her having a lot of animals. She already has several horses. So I think it'd be cool to get another animal at some point, like maybe a dog. This better count for a social event. I'm worried because we don't have, it's like, I think it's not showing up as like a gold, G-O-A-L-E-D event that it might not count. I'm not sure why. But we'll see. We'll see. Only one way to find out. Also, look at this dog on the couch. What a little guy. What a cutie. Thanks for coming. She's so confident because she loves hosting parties and she's having such a good time. All right, I'm going to sort of speed through the end of this because we're kind of just hanging out and chatting. How are, yeah, all of our needs are still really good. The horses at home are still very uncomfortable. Can we have? No, there's not. I wanted there to be a way to like prioritize caring for the animals, but that's okay. All right, it's a little after 9 p.m. I might just end the event early instead of having it go until like 11. I feel like that's fair yeah let's just do it i want to see if this worked i'm like i'm nervous that it that it won't have worked ending early okay did it work no see like i feel yeah complete the goals that pop up to earn a higher score which i guess like we don't the goals it just says to earn a higher score but i feel like we need the goals in order for, I think it has to be a, an event with goals to count for this. And I don't know why this one didn't count or didn't have goals, but it's fine. Let's go home, take care of the horses, go to bed and we'll try again tomorrow. Easy peasy. I don't know why I didn't like it. When I was planning the event, it said that it was a gold event, but I must've like clicked something to turn that off. Cause I think you can also have those type. Why is everyone just sitting, standing still? Okay, let's do this instead. <laughs> let's travel directly home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Or it's also possible we already had a party there, but I don't think that that's true. We'll figure it out. Either way, she really likes doing social stuff, so it was nice for her to like have a little, little night with friends. No, not a bad thing. I feel like I need to change. Yeah, sorry. Finish your woohoo. My bad. I feel like I need to change the name of this lot if I can. All right, let's take care of the horses. Low fun and low social. Let's do a little bit of hygiene and then also just talk with, who is this, Dusty? And then how's Denali? Okay, we'll never know, that's fine. How's Kronk? Oh, Kronk is pretty good except for not the best fun, but Kronk hates when I try to ask him to have fun. So we'll just go talk to, oh, actually, yeah, Dwayne is awake. So Dwayne, you just go talk to Kronk. Get stable gossip and discuss possibility of time travel. That seems good. Look at them taking care of their horses. I love them so much. They're so cute. Okay, now Dusty needs to have some fun. So maybe we will try to encourage Dusty to play. 
And then Ray can come check on Denali, who needs some social. Also, we can do a clean hooves. Why not? All right, how's Kronk? Still not the best. Oh, let's have Dwayne feed him a little snack. Hand feed an apple. How nice. How nice. Also, let's have Dwayne check on his garden. I'm not sure if he has recently. Yeah, so let's have him harvest everything. And then, ooh, fertilize, yes. Let's fertilize with normal quality horse manure and then water everything. How are the horses? Nice. We finally have one horse who is fine. <laughs> I'll take it. One horse who's not uncomfortable. What are you? Oh, you wanna go perform a cheer routine. Okay, well, that's fine. I think alternatively, you could get some food. I mean, yeah, cheer first. You do what you wanna do. <laughs> I feel like Dwayne can probably just go to the go to bed after he goes to the bathroom because oh he doesn't have work tomorrow so it's not like a huge he can stay up as late as he wants okay oh nice she's taking care of herself she worked out a little bit now she wants to eat and then we can just have her go to bed easy easy the horses are uncomfortable again okay it's just I feel like they will not play with the toys that we have for fun and I don't know, like, I think that there must be other ways to let the horses have fun. Or maybe we just need more types of toys so they have more variety. But they never, they're, like, often low fun. Why are you doing? You have a bed. Why can't I select him? Oh, there we go. Okay, the game was just taking a minute. Why don't you go to bed in your bed? Instead of on this bench <laughs> oh he's still in his work outfit that's really sweet okay she's gonna finish eating go to the bathroom and go to bed sometimes you feel like a nap on the couch you know yeah like i ordinarily i would get that but it's like a wooden bench in their home i i don't think i would want to nap on this personally <laughs> But I get it, when you're like not ready to fully go to bed, but you're kind of sleepy. <laughs> oh look, now all the horses are fine. They're like, I just wanted everyone else to go to bed. Oh, except for Kronk, who is what? It's fun, it's always fun. Go have fun. Okay, and they're going to bed, great. Everyone's settled. We're gonna try again for another, so another so hello. The ghost of Pa is here classic <laughs> we're gonna try again for another social event tomorrow but hopefully have it actually count for ray's aspiration and then i don't know maybe we'll have them like i really want them to try for a baby soon but i can't decide when i'm not sure when the right time is like, should we do that now or should we wait until after we get through part of her aspiration first? I can't decide. Okay, let's speed through the night a little bit more. Who's here? Ah. Oh my gosh. Pa is um, haunting things and potentially frightening the horses, possibly. That's fine. Just normal stuff. Just just the usual. <laughs> I can't tell if we're having good vibes hang out or not so good. Okay, that was good. Look, friendly. That was friendly. Okay, look, the horses like the ghost of Pa. That's so cute. Okay, they're friends. <laughs> and he he like haunted the oh here he is okay don't break anything in here though you can eat the food i guess but he like haunted the 
the speaker over here, but he didn't break it. So that's a good sign at least, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> I don't know why he needs food. I wouldn't have expected ghosts to eat, but, but okay, sure. Whatever, do your thing. All right. Let's check on, okay, so Dwayne is good for, it looks like he still needs to do a little bit, just like do well at work a little bit more before he's ready for a promotion, but he doesn't have to do anything else for his his job, so that's good. I think getting, like having him get promotions at work is just helpful because he's the one with the job. <laughs> nice, we're awake, okay, he's gonna get some food, good deal. And then Ray, okay, Ray will probably be waking up soon. She's good on her needs, although could probably eat some food. I mean, she can just finish off the eggs and toast that <laughs> the ghost of her grandfather got out in the middle of the night and didn't finish. Just totally normal stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Denali. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. How are the horses? Low fun. Low. Oh, they have a negative relationship. Okay. Feed Denali a little apple. See if that helps with your relationship. Oh my gosh. They're on bad terms. I wonder why. What's the deal? Okay, that should help, right? Horses love apples. Can't tell if it helps. Let's just have them hang out a little bit. I want them to be friends. Tanali. Oh, okay, cool. I thought she was unimpressed by his joke, but then it worked out. All right, and then after they hang out, we'll have him finish his eggs and toast, take a shower. And then how are the plants doing? A weed? Oh, and then he can fertilize these other plants with horse manure. Fertilize. Oh, with good horse manure, why not? Um, okay. Yeah. Are they friends again? Okay, well, not quite friends, but they're at least doing better. <laughs> Kronk is having a great time. He's just running around. Dusty is tense, but he's all right. And Ray's dancing. Okay, great, good stuff. Let's see if we can plan another event and make this one actually work. Okay, let's add event. Plan an, oh my gosh, I'm so silly. It's because these were unchecked. That's so annoying. I think previously they defaulted to being checked. So any of the events, like the gold events were defaulting to like having the check mark. I think. And so I didn't even like notice that it was unchecked. Boo. Okay. I think we might try a we can't do dance party because you can't do it as a gold event, but house party, I think like house party works the best. And then, hmm. Cause I think some of the other ones like dinner party, I think you have to be able to like cook food, which I think can be hard at houses that aren't your own. So I think basically this is just gonna be the week of the house party. She's just gonna have house parties at her friends' houses, I don't know. Last night's was just a warm up run, it doesn't count. So yeah. All right, Dwayne can come to this house party. And we'll just invite basically all the friends. Yeah, this is good enough though. Well, okay, you two can come, fine. 
and then all right where so we can't do it at the gallup residence that's our house we've already had a party here oh hmm, maybe some of let's see have we had a party at any of these places i think we have had a party here oh but i don't think we've had a party at the price residence all right at noon we're having a midday <laughs> middle of the week <laughs> okay wait maybe not noon maybe we'll do like 2 p.m that's fine that's fine well we're having a 2 p.m house party at the price residence done i hope that i did that right i really i think that i had selected go i think i checked off the goal event thing already so we should be good there if we show up to the party and it isn't it doesn't have goals then we'll just like end it early and then try to replan one for like exactly the same time basically hi frezza welcome in thank you for being here not first and enjoy your lurk my friend okay that works all right so we have a little bit of time until the party starts i don't remember what house party goals have but i don't think we need to worry about it too much because it doesn't have to be great it just has to be good Okay, they're still not very good friends yet. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get Dusty or Denali rather to play. Although, let's also see if we can get Dusty to play. And Kronk is doing great, easy. Um, All right. Maybe we can spend a little bit of today upgrading the the social event barn even though we don't have another social event in the barn oh i think okay yeah here's my plan i think that it would be really cool to so we have harvest fest is coming up i think it's on thursday in the game so we've got a couple of days until harvest fest uh and i think it would be really neat to have like a dinner party here and to host it in the barn and I think what would be like super, super cool is for the barn. I don't want, I don't need the barn to have like everything, everything, but I think it would be really cool for it to have its own kitchen and bathroom so that it can really be like a full, like you can spend a whole party here and not have to go to the house essentially. So we have like a good bit more money right now. So I think maybe now would be a really good time to upgrade the barn. I'm thinking like upgrade the barn, have a harvest fest party, and then maybe we try to have a baby. I really, I just really want her to have a baby soon. I'm really excited for the second generation. All right. How's the gardening going? Cool. Oh wait, did he? Oh no, he can harvest everything. He hasn't done that yet. You can, you can see the like little pieces of leaves are starting to gather <laughs> and there's a big leaf pile out here because it's fall. All right. Oh, we have mail. Oh, we probably have bills. I sort of forgot about bills. We can't just like pay. We can't just spend all of our money because we have to. Okay, our bills aren't that high though. Let's pay the bills, 736. That's not terrible. But I guess if we start adding a bunch more like utilities and stuff in the barn, our bills will, will probably start to go up because we'll have like more stuff. Because it counts like power and water. So, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. It'll be great. Oh, okay. Dwayne, you can actually grab that and put it in your inventory. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then I think we should have them hang out a little bit together. Oh my gosh, her dance moves are something else. Make a flirtatious joke. And then also exp express admiration. 
and they can dance together. Okay, we'll have them just dance together. Have a little, a little bonding time. Denali, are you okay? Just no fun. Never fun. In this household, we don't have fun, I guess. <laughs> Bella on Just Dance later. Yeah, that's what I, that's what it's going to be like. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> hey, I heard that you became friends with Bella Goth. She's pretty cool. I agree. She's pretty cool. <gasps> They're very flirty. Or, okay. Well, he's just playful. But Ray is very flirty. Oh. Is it too soon to try for a baby? Oh, he's just very playful. Okay, mm, settle down with the playfulness, though. Don't get too playful. Hug. <laughs> very flirty, you know what that means. I wanted him to be flirty, but he's he's playful. Which isn't quite the same. Figure out differences with other Sims? Oh, he has fear of being judged. Poor guy. Stay sad for two hours. Oh my god. <laughs> you know where you can play? The bed? Okay, look. Listen. What if we just... Just... What if we just... There's no guarantee. Okay. So... Try for baby. Let's just do it once. There's no guarantee. She might not become pregnant, but if she does, that's cool. I really want to have a second generation at some point. Oh, not like this. Don't walk through the wall, please. Oh, okay, Sims, you're fine. Who needs doorways? Okay, that's that's what I say. You can have this poop. <laughs> Sad for two hours? Barely any time at all. No, you're right. When you put it that way. I forgot he has the gloomy trait, so he, like, wants to be sad. Okay. Gamers, what do we think? Are we going to have a baby? The wall? Nothing can stop her. She's trying for a baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nothing can get between this sim and try for baby. <laughs> okay, playful works. Playful's still adjacent to flirty, you know? Like, that's close enough. Should we have her take a pregnancy test to find out if she's pregnant or just like, we'll know when we know? Oh gosh, we have to go to event. Let's just let them finish this up, okay? Are they both asleep? No, sorry, let's go to event. <laughs> We're both gonna go. We're gonna go to the party. <laughs> See, there's no time for a pregnancy test. We have to immediately go to this party. So we'll never know. We'll know. We'll know soon, probably. <laughs> I mean, like I have mentioned a lot, I'm really excited to start Gen 2. And things are pretty, like, solid and stable with them. Like, Dwayne's job, easy peasy. Like, I feel like they're in kind of a groove with taking care of themselves, taking care of the horses, work and everything. So it feels like the right time. Okay. Okay, the part, oh, we're here early. The party doesn't start till two. Also, I wanna move my camera down so you should be able to see. I think if it's here, it won't block anything and you should be able to see at least most of the goals for the party so we can see if the goals do in fact show up, which would be good to know. We can just hang out and be friendly for a bit. Oh, I guess also we can find out if we, oh. We can find, we can go into the house, hopefully. <laughs> whose house is this again? I immediately forgot who's this. Oh, this is the Price house, right? So I think Sydney and Savannah Price both live here, I believe. I'm pretty confident. They played very hard. They need to nap. They took like a 10 minute nap and then we're like, oh, we have a party to go to. Woohoo. 
the house was still going furniture. It like, when you, if you haven't been like invited in yet, it like shows up empty like that until you can go in. Oh, this house is so pretty. Let's do a polite introduction. Oh, this is so cute. I think this house is from, I think we're in Copperdale. Is that what it's called? Um, which is the world from the high school pack. So. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, house party is about to begin. Let's start. It's really cute. I, I really like this house. Okay, cool. So we do have goals, which means that I set it up right. Main goal is just hosts socialized with guests. So that should be easy. We also ha want to have Sims listen to the stereo, tell jokes, and have drinks, which might not be as easy, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, look at her party outfit. What a star. What a true icon. Okay, where are the... Oh, what is this? <gasps> They have like a little, I don't know what this, it's like a, that's so cool. It's like a little, I don't know, extra part of the house. And it's, whose bedroom is this? That's so neat. This is so cool. Okay, anyways, sorry, I got distracted. Where are our, where are our guests? There's Jacob. All right, we'll do thank for coming. Um, embrace. We can do, ooh, deep conversation and banter with old friend. I love that she's had like the same friends. Like she made a bunch of friends in high school and they have stayed friends, which I guess I feel like in The Sims, like you make friends and then you don't, there's not really like, you don't really like lose friendship for the most part unless you get into a fight or something but i really like i feel like she has worked really hard to like maintain these friendships because she always hosts these parties and she keeps inviting all of her high school friends and they stay friends and it's so cute i just really love it okay anyways oh give advice on social bunny post yeah why not okay cool jacob is lighting a fire let's do oh she can like ask to join a werewolf pack let's uh talk to sydney offer gratitude because sydney's house where we are hosting this party at sydney's house we can thank Wolfgang for coming and smooth apology. Not sure what we're apologizing for. Oh, okay. Not sure what we're apologizing for, but we can apologize. Sure, sure, sure. We can talk to Morgan. Let's do friendly interests. Discuss interests. That's easy. Nice, we're already, we have six of 12 socializing. Oh, and we can tell some jokes. I forgot that another thing that we can do is tell jokes. Oh, look who's here, Malcolm. <laughs> we can do, attempt to seduce, let's not do that. Let's discuss dance techniques. That's something that she would totally talk about. Look at her, she's so cute. Look at them, they're so sweet. I love them. <laughs> All right, let's tell a joke. Funny jokes. Um, tell a joke about monkeys, sure. All right. I feel like we need to get a better joke repertoire. So we don't have a great, we don't have a lot of great options, I feel like. Ooh, tell a joke about aliens. That seems way more fun. All right, let's have her tell some jokes. Look, we're like not even halfway through the time for this party and we're already, yeah, look, gold star or gold medal party, boom, easy peasy. So she can just hang out and do whatever for the rest of the time. 
Oh, she has to pee. Yeah, she really has to pee. Why don't you do that, actually? Why don't you go pee? <laughs> I did not realize how, just how much you had to pee. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I really love the strategy of just hosting parties, but at other people's houses. <laughs> I really hope this one works. I'm really confident that we haven't hosted a party here before because I don't recognize this house, so I don't think we've been here yet. So it should count for her, her excuse me. It should count for her aspiration, but I don't think this shows up until after we complete the party. So who's cooking? What are you cooking? Elliot Price? Are you part of this household? I don't think we've met. Oh, I guess he's a teen with a ton of blush. That's some custom content blush for sure. <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> what did he make? Tortilla wrapped veggie dog. Yum. Yum. Oh, what's out here? There's food? Grilled fruit? Hello? Oh, this is so sweet. Did they grill out here? Oh, that's so cool. That's adorable. Okay, how are we doing? Yum. Suddenly I want grilled fruit. I'm not really a grill person. Like, I don't really, I don't really grill. But that looks yummy. Guess we got a promotion. No, not you. It was me. Success, here I come. Great. Oh yeah, we recommended that that person try for a promotion and they got one, so that's good. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm gonna go a little bit fast through the end of the party. Look, this is so sweet. Everyone's sitting together and eating grilled fruit and being friendly and having a good time, I assume and hope. Successful party. I think this is her her thing is that she really likes like bringing everyone together. That's so sweet. Hello. What was that noise? What are they? It was him eating. Yeah. It was Jacob eating. <laughs> In a somewhat messy way. <laughs> Do we think she's pregnant? I can't, I definitely can't tell yet. She's very flirty. Do you wish you looked as happy as I do? Well, you have the power. Just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a simoleon away. No, I think he's going to hang up. Also, he likes being gloomy. <laughs> so he's like, no, no, no. I do not need, I do not need to be happy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. We're close to the end of the event. We have 40 minutes. Okay. She's hungry, but she's been eating grilled fruit. No. Did she put it in her inventory? Oh, this is Dwayne's inventory. Oh, he's hungry. He didn't eat grilled fruit, did he? Is there any left? Nope. He missed it. <laughs> Sorry. He missed out on his grilled fruit opportunity. What did you- what are you- what are you making? Making steak tartare? In this- not your house yeah they're like mad they're like stop cooking in my house this always happens when you try to cook in another sim's house they're like no no you can't cook here you don't live here yeah good try though buddy i'm so sorry that that didn't work for you <laughs> I sort of wish, nice, I sort of wish that the Sims didn't get mad about other people cooking in their houses, like, sort of who cares, but whatever. Okay, successful party, let's make sure that that count, nice, that definitely counted for her um, aspiration. So we just need one more social event at a unique location, we'll aim to do that tomorrow in the game. Nice. 
And let's go home. Let's head home. I'm so glad everyone had a good party, though. Yeah, so I think we'll be able to do, like, one more party where we host it at a friend's house this week. And then we will host Harvest Fest at our house, house on Thursday. And then I think Dwayne's birthday is on Friday. So we're going to, like, host a Harvest Fest dinner and then host... A birthday party but i think that that's her vibe i really do feel like she's just gonna want to like host every single party <laughs> like oh another event party which there i'm kind of excited there are some party types that i haven't done yet like there's like a baby shower party i think um and like i don't think we've i'm not sure if we've had a birthday party maybe we have i can't remember um but it'll be really cool to get to like mess with some of the other party types We can't tell if she's pregnant, right? Oh. We can't tell. <laughs> we don't know yet, I think. She's a hostess. It's what she does. It's what she lives for. Yeah, she loves bringing people together. So I really do like this, like, just continuing to have parties and parties it's so sweet all right how are the horses denali's uncomfortable we can just talk to how are you sir oh you were hungry last night oh you ate okay great but you do sort of have to pee and i think you have work in the morning at 8 a.m so i think we're gonna have Dwayne go to bed pretty soon The rest of his his needs are pretty good. His hygiene is fine. So we'll have him pee and then just like go right to bed. I mean, I guess nine is pretty early for bed, but I don't know. Dwayne is squeamish at the moment and doesn't appear to have the stomach for gross things or creepy crawlers. We're going to have a neat sim and a squeamish sim. Like, how are they going to deal with living on a farm and also having a baby? <laughs> like, okay, yeah, sure. Her, like, neatness sort of, like, war like rubbed off on him, but in, in it manifested as squeamishness. He's like, huh. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, you can clean that. <laughs> Sorry for the gross thing, but let's just take care of that really quick. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, his fun is good. Let's just go to bed early. Wait, actually, let's double check. Let's check on the plants. Seems, all seems fine. So yeah, he can just go right to bed. Early bed. Squeamish Sims become nauseated from slimy, icky things. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, she's dancing and oh, she had a horse audience, but Kronk is not impressed. Kronk is like, no, no, could be better, could be better. <laughs> um, okay, let's have her. I mean, she could also go to bed early. Her hygiene is okay, her energy's, I mean, like. Maybe she'll, like, take care of herself a bunch right before bed. So can she... Do we have any leftovers still? Yeah, well, I think this is... We're probably getting close to the end of our leftovers. So let's have her eat these leftovers. And then we can have her... Go pee. And then we'll have her take a shower. Even though she's not super dirty, she doesn't like getting dirty at all. So not bad to just, like, take a take a shower in advance kind of deal look the horses are all fine which i feel like hasn't been a thing in a minute so <gasps> look they're friends <gasps> look oh my gosh they're so sweet i love them okay anyways that was so cute 
The horses are really so cute. I love when they just autonomously interact with one another. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. I can't stand it. All right, how are we doing? And then we can have her sleep. Again, even though it's like, she doesn't look pregnant, but I guess it's only been a day, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, Dwayne has work at 8 a.m., so we'll just make sure that he's up in time. Sorry for my sniffle. Up in time for work. Hello. Welcome to the community. And my, that's a lovely neck you have there. Vlad, I don't, I don't feel great about that. I don't love that. Okay. I just feel like maybe uh, you could work on that introduction, I would say. Oh, I'm so sniffly, I'm sorry. Okay, I feel like Dwayne might be able to wake up soon, but like, oh, it's raining. The flowers don't need it, or flowers. The plants don't need anything. He could, wait, what's even planted here? Oh, there is something growing here. Bell peppers. Who knew? But they only grow in summer and spring, so they're not growing. They're out of season. I didn't realize they would just like be there, but not grow. Hmm, that's okay though. Also the horses, okay, the horses do have covered areas. These are covered, so that's on them that they're not there. Just just saying. Um, all right, does Dwayne like cooking? I forgot. Oh, he does not cook. He most certainly doesn't cook at all. I was like, maybe we can have him wake up early and cook some breakfast. Cause I, I think that they're probably getting close to out of leftovers, but that's okay. We can have Ray wake up and make some, do some cooking in a bit. Let him sleep in a bit. He's kind of hungry. Let me just see if, I don't think I, f oh, okay. There are some leftovers left. So let's have him get some leftovers. Why not? Why not? I think today we will have Ray do another party um, and then also work on expanding the barn. I really wanna do that today, I'm excited about it. Also, just a heads up y'all, we have an ad coming up in a few moments. Um, during stream, I like to use the ad, well, I play ads once an hour but for three full minutes, just so that I can take a break, we can all take a break, get some water, whatever. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so I like to actually like step away for a moment during the ads, so you won't miss anything. We'll all take a break together. Uh, and just a reminder, if you haven't had a sip of water recently, if you haven't like done a little stretch, if you haven't pet your pets, uh, the ad break is a great time to do all of that. So take care of yourselves, do your thing. Um, the ad break is starting soon. Let's see. All right, he's gonna wash his dishes. I mean, his like, all of his needs are fine. I feel like my Sims are surprisingly okay right now, knock on wood. Although I feel like as soon as we have a baby, it's gonna be a mess, so it's fine. Where's he, was he? Oh, he's gonna dance? Really? I mean, that's fine. He's just, <laughs> he's gonna, <laughs> Do a little dancing in the morning before it's time to go to work. <laughs> uh, all right, let's pot. Oh, just kidding. He changed his mind. He's like, absolutely not. I will not be. Oh, no. He's just confused. All right, let's pause right here. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Everyone should be back from the ad now. So hi. I hope you had a good ad break. <laughs> we are playing some more horse sims. My cat's here to say hello. Ah, yes. Dwayne is gonna dance a little bit before he has to go to work. <laughs> they just really truly have the best dance moves. I love this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we'll have him dance for a bit. I think it likes, oh yeah. 
There it is. Let's have him go to work. So I think I'm gonna have him just like run over here so he's not late to work. I just feel like sometimes my sims get like caught up in their tasks <laughs> and they forget that, okay, hello. You have to go to work, I'm so sorry. I mean, you don't have to, I guess, but it is rainy and gross today. All right, Ray is up. She's, okay, does she, no, that's her sweater. I was like, does she look pregnant? But it's just the shape of this sweater. I can't tell. <laughs> oh my gosh, he loves to dance. I can relate. I get it completely. Okay, he's, he's getting ready to head off to work. All right, so my plan for today, update the, update the barn have a little social house party event with Ray to finish her this part of the aspiration and that's it um so yeah I think let's try oh yeah let's have Ray cook first what does she want to cook hang on instead of caprese salad which yummy I just feel like whenever my sims autonomously cook for themselves they create they make like one they always do things in like one serving but instead, I think we'll have her cook something and make like a lot of servings of it so that we can have leftovers. That's usually what I like to do. Oh, game, don't do this to me. Ooh. <gasps> I've never noticed this. I don't know if this is new, but you can like filter by different like diet things. So I can look at only vegetarian options. That's so neat. I love that. Hi King, welcome in. I hope you're having a really good day. Hello, hello. All right, what should we do? Let's do, ooh, tofu tacos sounds pretty good. We'll do party size, so there's plenty. And then I'm gonna save my game because I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I realized I haven't saved since we started playing today, and I should. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, they're all talking to him before he heads off to work. <laughs> the filter for food came with the update with the new stuff pack. Nice. I really like that. That's super cool. Wait, okay, what is in here that's dirty? She's upset about filthy, filthy surroundings, but I'm not sure what is filthy in here, but okay. Anyways, I'm actually gonna let her keep, let's, I wanna wait until the wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this little meeting that they're having. <laughs> this is so cute. Uh, dislikes world music? Okay, sure. All right, Dwayne's off to work. Let's switch the music station. Change station to cottage core. Sure. Is it the trash? Maybe it is the trash. That's a good point. I guess after she finishes cooking, we can have her empty the trash. Ooh. <gasps> what? New personality trait, cheerful? Ray has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Ray doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, fully like a thousand percent on board for this. I'm just cackling at Ray, who was as a teenager, literally exclusively always had zero fun, refused to have fun, was like the, the crankiest teen of all time. And now she's like, you know, things are great. I'm so happy for her. I think she just had a really hard time adjusting to moving to like, farm life and now she's really really feeling it but like oh my word what night and day what a huge change she had to grow into fun yes it's called growth you're so right you're so right <laughs> i'm just impressed all right i'm gonna pause the game here and uh -huh -huh. actually i'm gonna save the game right now because i refuse to lose that moment <laughs> I'm just so happy. She was so cranky for so long. We needed this win. Incredible job, everyone. All right, I'm gonna switch over to build mode and let's do some upgrades on the barn, which I'm pretty jazzed about. Uh, so basically I just wanna make it like a lot bigger. <laughs> uh, I've thought about, I've contemplated, hello, game. 
sometimes when I switch between, yeah, there we go. Switching between build and live mode often makes my game like really stuttery, which I know other people experience as well, but. Does she make wine? She doesn't yet. The second generation sim is going to make wine. So we might start getting some of the like nectar making supplies in the barn. Um, like it'd be really cool to have like a little nectar cellar in the barn. That would be really neat. Uh, but she doesn't yet, or she doesn't specifically. Uh, but so I think one, I wanna make the barn bigger. And two, I've been, I've been considering making an upstairs or like a partial upstairs. I feel like an upstairs could be really like an interesting spot to put a bathroom. Um, Cause I think I don't, I don't wanna make it like so big that it just looks silly. Cause like the bigger we go, the bigger like the roof gets and everything. I don't know. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to make it bigger. So I think what I wanna do is make that bigger. And then make this kind of a lot bigger. But like, this is my fear of like, I don't want it to be, hello, what, what's happening here? I don't want it to be so huge that it just like doesn't work, you know? So let's just put this stuff here for now. I wanna take a look at, yeah, obviously we need to move this around. All right, and then this is my concern is like, does that look just absurd? Like, I think we need to make this maybe a little bit s smaller, not quite as tall. And then I think we should probably get some windows in here. I'm also gonna re, okay, or I'm not. I wanted to recent, oh, I have these tables here. I was like, hello. Let's just move everything out for a minute. Okay, the things that I want, is that the center? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, cool. The things that I want, I definitely want the dance floor, although it could be neat to get, I think there's a larger version of this dance floor. So this is the rootin' tootin' boot scootin' dance floor size and medium. So I think it'd be cool to get the huge one. In fact, let's just set that there. I'm gonna move this over here for now. But what I also want, like could we have that? Oh, that's interesting. What I also want, what I think would be, although maybe not, maybe this needs to be like up here could be neat. Or here. I can't decide where I want that yet. Um, but what I also think would be really neat is to have like a kitchen and a like dining space. Almost like what I'm imagining is like, have you ever been to like a wedding for instance? And there's like a dance floor. Okay, wait, what if we put this? Oh, see like, I need to figure out the spacing of everything. But like, okay, you're at like a wedding reception and there's like a big dance floor area but then there's also like a bar and like tables to eat um i want it to be sort of like that but also i want there to be a kitchen like i want you to be able i want this to be able to be like a full like party space i don't know how to explain this better <laughs> Does this make any sense at all? But I'm struggling to figure out how to like lay that out. Also, I could make an upstairs and that could be where like a kitchen and like eating space is. But like basically I want this to be a space where we can host like all kinds of parties. So we can host dinner parties, but we can also host parties where people dance, um, all that kind of stuff. So. Let's just start getting some, oh, also I wanted to move. We have all these chairs from when we had a wedding <laughs> and I wanna move them. I, 
think we can use some in the barn. And then some, we can probably use that in the barn somewhere too. And then I think like at least two of them we needed in the house. Cause they were the same chairs that we had at the dining room table or the dining table. You can make an upstairs in the roof. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. But sometimes I find that that's sort of tough because of the spacing of like where the roof like cuts in. But like, I wanna see like, I think I would need to, I th like, I think what I would need to do is like, let me just like move the roof for a second. <laughs> okay, roof, can you, you can just go right here for a second. That doesn't mess with anything, right? Yeah. Oh, why did it do that? Are those walls gonna, okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, let me put the roof there for a second. And then I think what we could do is make, we can do this, like a second story. Wait, how far does this need to go? No, one more, right? So make like a second story that's only this big. Because I think the problem is like, you can make an, yeah. Because I think the problem is like, how do you explain? I want the roof to be able to like, not. Okay, but then I need the roof to be like slightly more curved. Yeah, and then that way, why can't, oh yeah, I need to do this. Yeah, this way we can still have an upstairs, but like we wouldn't be able to use that part anyways. Okay, anyways, does this make sense? <laughs> huh, that's so confusing. But I don't know what this would look like exactly. They can walk into the roof. Hmm. I still like it to be like, to like make sense, you know? Like, I would love to have this, but then it's just like, I hate the way that that looks, you know? It's so confusing. Does this have like a roof? Or a ceiling, I mean? I can't even tell, okay. Yeah, so like this part, then it looks fine from there. Yeah. Hello, where did my second floor? Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, cause I think that like, I still want it to look reasonable. Anyways, let's just see what this would possibly even look like. Let me just, I think what, maybe this would be interesting as a spot for like bathrooms upstairs. Cause I do sort of like the idea of them being out of the way. I don't have the word, I don't have the English word for it, but I see it's sort of, it's sort of a tough spot. I always find that like second stories where the roof like curves down like that just end up being kind of difficult to make perfect, but that's okay. All right, so I'm imagining stairs like here-ish, but it would be maybe cool if they curved. Ooh, maybe if they curved and then, or maybe if they, okay. <laughs> Y'all are just gonna see me. Is that gonna move that? Okay, undo. Let's move this out of the way first. Let's move this over like that and then have this curve. Can I have a double curve, please? Okay, what does that look like? No, I hate that. Although maybe like this? No, that doesn't work, does it?
But could it just be... <laughs> this is like me having to do math. Um, okay. Update, let me just put that outside right now so it doesn't mess with me. What does this look like? And then moved all the way over here. And then we could have like a bathroom up here somewhere, maybe? Yeah, I thought about a ladder, but I feel like my only hesitation with a ladder is that it looks kind of awkward, you know? Maybe, okay, okay, wait, I think I see the vision. I'm imagining this, okay, the dance floor is over here again. This tiny little corner tucked back there will be like a small kitchen area so we can have like, we can like make food here. And I might even, oh yeah, I could even like wall it off. I feel, I feel like I'm getting somewhere, okay? Like, hear me out. We do that and then that, and then that is the kitchen, the tiny small little kitchen. And then, I don't know, we can just put something decorative here or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what I'm feeling. I hope we can fit kitchen stuff in here, but I think that this works. And then here we can, yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of me. It make I think it makes sense. <laughs> and then let's do, can we, see, this is the only problem is that in order to like see, <laughs> in order to see this, we have to have the like walls completely down, which is a little bit rough, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like how, change what these walls look like even though it's fine you know it's fine whatever okay and then I think we'll make this like one large bathroom so I need to sort of like wall off okay what if we do like that that's a weird shaped bathroom but that's fine because like yeah, we like can't see it unless the walls are completely hidden. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. All right, let me make all of this look like this. It's fine. All right. Yeah, so this doesn't have to be like a full kitchen. We really just need like just enough space to be able to cook. Um, because I think it would just be for like cooking or like store. Oh, speaking of cooking, let me put this. Um, hello. Oh, it's cause I'm in build mode. Duh. Anyways, um, it would just be like, and also maybe I can bump it out a little bit more, but it doesn't have to be like a full, full kitchen. Um, cause it's just for cooking for like event stuff. So I don't imagine they would be like doing a ton of cooking there. If that makes sense. Ooh, what if I make the ceiling this? Oh, that's so fun. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna go to, oh yeah, let's go to buy rooms. Let's go to bathroom. I'll get a door in, in a bit. It's like a secret room <laughs> in the roof, yeah. I mean, I sort of, I, I don't mind it. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> All right, and let's do sweet escapes. Okay, wait, I shouldn't, I'm already spending like a lot of money. So let's be like sort of cautious here. I'm gonna do, this bathroom really is quite large, but that's okay. Let me put a toilet. We can work on like exactly how stuff works later and we'll put a sink and let's see if I can get like an 
overhead light, possibly? Like, would this even... Because I can't really, like, access the walls in here. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Let's see if... Let's do... Yeah, let's just do, like, a simple light. That's fine. We'll literally never see it. We can do one here and one here. And one here for safety. Perfect. All right. And then let's do... I'll work on like decorating it more later, but I think that's good enough as is for now. All right, so we officially have a bathroom upstairs. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get some like railing in on the stairs and then also... Oh, not there. I wanted to see if I can get some like right here, but I probably need to draw it. Yeah, like that. And like that. Oh, that's like not the same color, is it? That's fine. Good enough. Cute. Okay, I like it. The bathroom is done. Hopefully it works. We'll test that later. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I can just erase all of that and it'll be no problem at all. Let's work on the little, the like tiny little kitchen. You can remove the roof for build. Yeah. Yeah, I could totally like remove the roof and then try to put it back on later. Whatever. All right, cool. Oh, wait, update. It won't be usable because we fully did not add a door. <laughs> Let's add a door first. Let's do... Oh, this is cute. And then I think I'll use the same here for the kitchen. A tiny, tiny little kitchen. Um, oh. Okay, and then let's see where we have, we don't have any, we don't have a lot of windows, which is fine. I might move this over a little and actually just have the kitchen come out one more because it doesn't have to be like exactly in line with the stairs there. I think that's fine. And that should give us a little more room. I think this layout makes sense. I hope. <laughs> All right, and then let's look at kitchen stuff. I might just sort of grab some of the same stuff that we have in this kitchen. Or actually, let's not start there. Let's start with the counter. I think I'll use the same type of counter and then just change the color to this like dark version. And all right, let's get one here and one there. And maybe we'll put the stove in the back and then maybe a sink here. And then let's see if I can still put, that's a little bit cutting it close. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have a lot to fit in here, don't we? All right, let's, that's fine. Well, I feel like we need, we need like a straight across one for like a space to actually cook. So let's put that there. And then we can put this one here for like the sink. Um, and then we'll put a stove in the back. There, ignore that, of course. Understood. I can't type. No, that's, you're doing great. Okay, and then let's get... Okay, I don't have like an absurd amount of money. So let's maybe, oh, this is kind of cute. What if we do a cute one? Why not? That's so cute. Okay. And then we need a sink somewhere and we also need a refrigerator for sure. Oh, let's do this one to, ma to match. That's, oh, we can put this all the way there which gives us enough space for a little bit more counters. So I think maybe another straight across one here, and then we can do like a one that ends here. Boom. I mean, it's a pretty narrow kitchen. 
maybe I will just remove that one and move that over so you have like a little more space. <laughs> okay, that works. And then let's do a sink. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Yeah, yeah. I think that works. And then we definitely need a light in here. Oh yeah, we could probably use another one of these somewhere too. Let's put another of these over here. And yeah, in here, why not? They're not that expensive, so. Okay, that seems beautiful, I think. <laughs> and then, yeah, if you open all the drawers, you can't, if you open all the drawers, you can't move in there. I don't think it's so bad. Like, I don't think this is actually that terrible. <laughs> Hi, Elvit. We were talking about Just Dance earlier and on and off all day because it's Just Dance 2024 release day. So I'm pretty jazzed. Oops, let's leave that there. And then I want to move this like to the middle and I'll move this just to be more in line with that. I might actually swap this out for something else. Let's see what other, like a more like straight across kind of deal could be neat, but I want it to still match. Like I think, oh, obviously that's not quite it. But you know what, I don't hate that. I expected that it would, I, I expected that it would not feel like the right vibes, but I think it actually works all right. Okay, where were we? All right, and then let's just get like one nice big dining table and call it there <laughs> because we don't have a ton, ton of money left. So, all right, let's see what our options are. Time zones, I missed it. No, 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 we can still talk about it now. I've literally been talking about it really truly on and off all day long. Have you, have you seen the new Just Dance? Are you excited about it? Are you gonna get it? Also, I heard that we can play like as long as one person has, like if you have Just Dance 2023 and I have Just Dance 2024, we can play Just Dance 2024 songs together, you know? So they're bringing the Rasputin coach back. Yes, it looks so cool. The Rasputin, 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 how do you, Rasputin? I can't speak, but his coach, the makeover, it looks so good. He looks so good. <laughs> It's, I'm pretty jazzed about it. All right, I'm thinking I wanna put a table here. I might change the color swatch. Oh wait, no, that wrong button. Yeah, that works. And then I think I wanna bring these in, but change the color swatch. And I think these will work. And I think we can use all of them, which is pretty sick. Every time you say Rasputin, the song gets stuck in my head. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really excited. They also like, I think it, the new dance, the fallout boy dance with that coach in it. I think it like f furthers his lore in. So like the Rasputin coach has a bunch of lore in just dance. I'm pretty jazzed about it. I'm pretty jazzed about it. Oh, also, hi, Hermit Queen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. Hi, Affy. How are you doing? How's it going, bestie? All right, I like the idea of getting more tables and chairs like eventually, but I think for now, this works well. What if I like angled it a little? No, I don't like it. Chris, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for that resub with your prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three whole months, what the heck? Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for saying yeehaw with us. I really forgot my prime it. sub this month, ha ha sweat. Ha ha sweat. <laughs> thank you for using your prime sub here. I really appreciate it, my friend, hello. Also, I fully read your message and didn't even say hi earlier about the getting the song stuck in your head. <laughs> He has so much lore and it's messy. Yes, his lore is so messy. <laughs> Hi, Brianna, thank you for being here. Not first, I appreciate it, welcome in. Elvin, enjoy your class, I hope it all goes well. 
Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> Just got coffee, waiting for my next class to start. Nice, incredible, so close. Like truly so close. <laughs> All right, where can I put these? Maybe I can put them, oh, I got rid of, what happened to my other window? Oopsies. Let's put one here and one, can we fit one here? Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm just gonna move this window in between them. Maybe I, can I move that over one? Yeah, perfect. Okay, that works. And then I don't know where I was gonna put this. Oh, actually this kind of works nicely here. Maybe I'll change the color. Nice. Y'all, thank you for being here, not first. I appreciate it. And Pigeon, thank you so much for the hydrate. Y'all, take a sip of water with me if you haven't recently. <laughs> All right, let's do, maybe we'll make this like a, yeah, like a fun color. Yeah, the green is fine. Good enough for me. That works. I have 21,000 cashews, nice, incredible, incredible. Okay, this feels good. I feel like we've got a good situation here. I'm gonna move the grill just a little bit closer. I guess not much. But yeah, moving the grill a little bit closer. I still like the grill being outside. We have our little kitchen. We have our bathroom that hopefully works, but might not. And uh, that's fine, I can come back to that later. We used up most of the money, but like there's still some. I think it looks good too. Uh, I can put this in inventory. And so now I'd also like to add more mirror, or not mirrors, more windows, but it's also kind of vibey without a ton of windows. I'd like to add more like decorations, but now it like functionally has more stuff. Basically my thought is that I'd really like for them to like host a harvest fest dinner here. And now we have space to do that. And what I like about the second kitchen is that we could like cook harvest fest food in here and then keep it in the fridge so that it's ready and then host dinner there. I think it works. I think, I think I feel good about it. All right, let me save the game really quick. <laughs> Uh, Nayo, oh my gosh. Are you romancing Nayo and Palea? <laughs> how many, how far have you gotten in Palea so far, Affie? I need to hear about your speed running Palea. All right, let's switch back to live mode. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And then also I'm gonna set all of the, oops, I wanna set all of the lights to auto lights. Oh, I forgot their candles. So I guess they don't really, I don't know if they count for anything. And then look, okay, now that we're in live mode, it actually like works. I can actually see everything. And I think it looks pretty good. I, so it, it does seem like, like I can actually see the walls. Oh, that's so good. Okay, the bathroom looks a little bit sad. I will say that. <laughs> but it, I think the fact that we can see all of it makes me optimistic that it'll probably be functional. So that's really cool. Uh, and I'll just like come back in and make it a little bit prettier. I thought about putting like stalls in for toilets, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe we could even put like a whole, um, shower like why why not i also really like the idea of having somewhere stairs down to a basement but i think that will be like a, a future addition so yay oh my gosh it's cold weather she has her cold weather clothes on this is so exciting <laughs> i've gotten quite far i need to give you a tour of my plot oh my gosh i do need to see almost level 20 in hunting are you kidding I have been playing since it was in closed beta and I am, I am about to hit level. No, I think I, no, I think I'm about to hit level 10 in hunting. <laughs> level 20. This is incredible. You have been grinding. I love it. Okay. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, this is dirty and gross. Why don't you 
polish to perfection. Is she pregnant, do we think? I sort of like don't want to take a pregnancy test, but I also do want to take a pregnancy test just to know for certain. Oh, we have to do a social gathering. Okay, so first of all, oh, moved a little fast. Look, the, the barn, the like party gathering barn is like bigger than their house, which also looks like a barn. <laughs> Uh, but that's because I wanted, I wanted this, I wanted their like house where they're living now to sort of look like it was an old barn that they converted into a small living space. And then in a future generation, I really want to build back here. Oh, I forgot about those two random chairs. I'll do that later. Uh, back here, I really want to build like a full, um, farmhouse, like a really big house for a lot of family and stuff. So I didn't want to build that yet. Um, but it's really funny seeing this now officially be like larger than where they live. <laughs> I remember when I first saw someone play, I was like, no, please, the animals don't hurt them. And now I have become a monster. Yeah, I do a lot of hunting in that game. And I often like I don't enjoy the concept of hunting personally, but I do a lot of hunting in that game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at first, I also felt really bad about it. I was like, oh, no, we can't hurt them. But now I now I'm on board. <laughs> Okay, all right. I just really wanna know if she's pregnant, but also I, I really don't wanna take a pregnancy test for some reason. <laughs> all right, let's schedule another social event. I think it'll be just her because we'll do it um, while Dwayne is still at work. I think we'll do a little house party like very soon. Um, and this will be should be her last social event at a unique location as long as I correctly pick a unique location and then we'll get to the last section of the party animal aspiration which is exciting especially because the antlers make bank yeah it's nice to be able to like use all of the stuff that you get from the animals in Palea at least <laughs> like all around it's good <laughs> all right let's do add event and we're just gonna do another not dinner another house party and we have the goal event check and ray's gonna host and we'll just invite all the usual friends basically And then we'll host. We have to pick somewhere that we haven't hosted before. I think we've done both of the Copperdale places. Oh, I don't think that we've done the Volkov residence in Dulcel Valley. Oh, we've also not done uh, the this place in Windenburg. But we have done here, although I don't know if it would count. And I can't remember if we've done the Edo residence. Let's do the Volkov residence. And we're going to do it for 2 p.m. <laughs> or maybe even 1 p.m. <laughs> or maybe even noon. This is a midday house party at someone else's house. We're planning it two hours in advance. As one does. Um, okay, wait, let me just go back. Oh, shoot. Will it have undone? I want to make sure. Oh yeah, Jacob Volkov. Oh, that's him. Okay, great. Yeah, and he's invited. So let's do it at his house. Easy. <laughs> okay, perfect. At 12 p.m. Del Sol Valley. Boom, done. Easy. House party. Perfect. Oh, the house, or the horses are in the house. The houses are in the horse. Okay, how are our needs? I forgot to check. Great. My sims are being so easy right now. It's it's like I it's because something bad's going to happen. Okay. How are the horses? Fine. Dusty is tense, but not sure why. Just just because. Tense just because. 
Oh, I remember that like a zillion years ago, I said I was gonna chug the rest of my cold coffee and I didn't. So I'm just gonna have a little bit more. It's definitely cold. It is not warm at all. <laughs> Hi, Eric, welcome in. I am having an awesome day. I hope you're also having an awesome day. It looks so good in here. Oh, I don't have a trash in here, I just realized. Which might be good to include a little trash can. But otherwise, I think it looks so nice. Would you go there for a party? Would you come to my barn for a party? Just wondering. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a really good day. We have been talking a lot about Just Dance today because it's Just Dance 2024 release day. We're not playing it on stream. I'm just excited about it. Uh, and playing more horse sims. Can't believe Halloween is next Tuesday. Yeah, it really kind of snuck up on me. This month I feel like has gone, I feel like I've been saying this like every month this year, but I feel like this month went by very, very quickly. All right, let's go to the event. We're just gonna go a little bit early and help do some like setup. We're not gonna bring a horse with us. That feels excessive. <laughs> I would join the party, incredible. I got a pumpkin spice latte with pumpkin cold foam. It's the only thing keeping me going. Oh, yum. I got a pumpkin spice latte. Um, I think like last week, uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. Am a fan. Did enjoy. I just wanna make sure, okay, yeah. My webcam is definitely working still. She's just like very asleep. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think we've thrown a party here. It looks new. It's really pretty, wow. Oh my gosh, look at this house, what the heck? It's so fancy. Okay. How much football have you been watching? A lot for me. I have not been watching a lot of football. I've been occasionally hearing about highlights, but I haven't like actually sat down and watched any games. Oh. She's like, oh, she's like really famous. Is that? Is Jacob's mom this super, super famous person and we just, <laughs> oh, I just like forcibly planned a party at her house. And also potentially both of her sons are werewolves maybe? Okay, oopsies. Are we even gonna be able to introduce ourselves to, okay, this is fine. <laughs> Oh no, this is so awkward. Okay, we'll do a howdy introduction to what I assume is a relative. And then let's knock on the door and hope that we can go in. <laughs> I did not realize this is a famous person's house. Also, this is not my horse, just to clarify. Duke Gooseman. I love them. Okay, let's also do a friendly introduction to this horse. They have a horse. Oh my gosh, Bella Goth. Let's try and win one of those geek con challenges. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I'm literally throwing a party right now. I'm not going to geek con. So sorry. Eric, I hope you've been enjoying watching football. I hope I hope your favorite team is doing well. Who's your favorite baseball team? Mine's the Yankees and the Rockies. I actually am not a huge baseball fan. Um, I don't follow baseball. I feel like for me, I, I find, okay, I know everyone has a different opinion. I find, I just like don't, I find baseball a little bit hard for me to watch because I find I get a little bit bored. I think I tend to prefer sports where there's like a lot happening all the time. Like I really like hockey and like soccer because I like I, I think I prefer sports where the time doesn't stop because any sport where like where the time stops or like where there's like different sections of like action versus not action, if that makes sense, I just don't enjoy as much. So I'm not a huge baseball fan. I'm not the biggest football fan um, kind of for those reasons. House party. Let's start. Okay. We just need to socialize with guests again. Oh, and flirt. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Broncos, nice. Going to a baseball game is fun. Watching baseball on TV is not fun. Yeah, that's how I feel is that if I'm at a baseball game, 
it's enjoyable to me i think like largely because there's so many people that are like really hyped up and having a good time and like that's really enjoyable this house is so fancy i can't believe we hosted a party here Ooh. um well let's thank jacob for coming to a party that's at his own house um but yeah, I, I definitely enjoy like being at a baseball game because it's there's like a lot of excitement and like, I don't know, I like that the fun of like a, a crowd that's really excited and having a good time, but I don't prefer watching it on TV. Um, yeah, yeah, I love hockey. I think hockey, is anyone coming? Where are the guests? Oh, here's some. Oh, did they have to walk all the way from like down here? <laughs> Ooh. Um, hockey is, I think, possibly one of my favorites, at least, like, to watch. I find it really engaging and super fun. Hi, Tyler. Welcome in. How are you doing? We're playing some horse sims. My sim just hosted a party at someone else's house, and I didn't realize until we got to the house that it was actually the house of, like, a very famous person in The Sims. Uh, so oopsies. But I mean, cool. Um, tell engaging story. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go here. Look, we're definitely pregnant. Ray is pregnant. We didn't take a, we didn't take a pregnancy test. I just was going to like wait and find out. And we found out. <laughs> Yay. Generation two is on the way. Going to do some quick gym Tyler then work. Nice. Incredible. It's so quick moving, it makes my ADHD happy. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about hockey is that it's like really, really fast paced and there's always stuff happening, um, which I like. Uh, all right, we're gonna socialize with all of our guests. All of the guests that showed up to not our house for this party. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Ray. I'm so excited that we're we have generation two on the way. Look at us go. Okay, I'm just gonna load up Ray's social queue. Hello. Some people love art, but everyone loves a popular artist. You're the talk of the town. Start painting and I bet you'll be considered a visionary in no time. I know just the tricks you need to bootstrap your artist journey. How about joining the painter career? No, thank you. Thank you so much for the offer, but no, thank you. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Eric, I'm so glad things are going well. I, yeah, I hope everything's going all right for everyone. I know that can be tough. I feel like uh, life going well is such a like, it can be different from one moment to the next, but I really hope I really hope y'all are having a nice, an, at least a nice week, at least a nice day, you know? <laughs> Things have been really good here. I feel like I've been very busy, which is really good, but also I, I am like trying to make sure that I don't get so busy that I get overwhelmed, which sometimes can happen for me. And if I, I feel like if I get, sometimes if I get too busy that I get overwhelmed, then I start to like, be really stressed and I have a hard time juggling things and then I just like shut down and I can't do anything which is really difficult and not ideal um so I I'm hoping to like not get so busy that things are sort of out of control for me um but so far I've been like very good busy which is nice But yeah, I have a, I have some like upcoming fun stuff going on. Uh, hello, who is, who is what's happening here? I have some upcoming fun stuff going on. Um, getting, I'll get to see some friends this upcoming weekend, which is cool. Some cool stream stuff happening, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, just been busy, just been busy. Okay, we're getting close to socializing with everyone. 
who have sims playing games at the same time we don't really have games other than this one chess <laughs> what you got going on tonight cough 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 oh thank you for the reminder tonight we're gonna be playing some oh nice domain is home tonight we're playing some DD in the discord it is our second iteration or like second month second one shot second episode what do i say it's our second time of a monthly cadence of one shots that we're doing in discord tyler is the dm thank you tyler you're an icon um but i'm really excited to be playing tonight we had a really good time last month uh so it's really cool but worth noting the D, &D tonight again in discord it is open to anyone who would like to watch so we have our players selected just because we have to select ahead of time and like get stuff sorted um but if you're curious about D, &D if you haven't really seen it um you just want to stop in and say hi get a feel for it y'all are totally welcome if you're in the discord to just come say hi watch for a couple minutes or the whole time if you want whatever and if you like what you see and you're interested in playing in the future it's something like i said that we do every single month and it is totally open to people with any amount of DD &D experience so total beginners are welcome anything at all um so if you're if you're i know we have a lot of folks in the community that are like curious about D, &D or already love D, D and are looking for more opportunities to play so if either of that or anything in between that sounds like you i would love if you came and said hi in discord tonight we're starting at 7 30 p.m eastern which is like five five hours from now is that can i math yeah so we'll see you there if not tonight, then next month. And if not next month, then the next month. <laughs> if you're interested. But yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight, which I'm very excited about. Tyler, I was talking earlier about how after stream, I have to cook dinner, play Just Dance, and then get ready for d and I'm like, my day is going to be like back to back all of my favorite things, which I'm very jazzed about. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I'm doing tonight. So I'll see you there. Thank you for the reminder, Tyler. Truly thank you, because earlier today, I was like getting I was like getting ready for stream and I was like what am I doing tonight I feel like there's something I have to do maybe not I guess I'm just reading tonight like there I was like in that do you ever get in that mood where you're like I know I'm forgetting about something but I don't know what it is anyways it was that <laughs> but I remembered earlier so we're good <laughs> anyways yes yeah, you in discord also, if you're not already in the Discord and you'd like to be, if you do exclamation Discord, you can get the link to the Discord. It is 18 plus just for like safety reasons to make it easier for me and the moderators to make it a, a space that we're comfortable keeping safe. Um, but you're totally welcome to join. We'd love to have you. Yeah, D&D. <laughs> packed. Yeah, it's going to be a packed day. Packed with my favorite things. <laughs> Stayed at home today. Nice. Shima. Who's shouting? Why are we shouting, friends? All right. Okay, we're close to... Oh, nice. Are we going to play a game? Cute. We're close to finishing our host socialize with guests goal for the event. Nice. We did it. So we're going to have a gold medal event. Easy peasy. And as soon as we finish this event, we're going to finish this section of our aspiration. What a, what a time. I'm so, Ray, I feel like Ray is having a good week. It is a good week. <laughs> and we're dancing. This is a fancy record player situation. Dang, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> She's like mostly asleep, but she just moved her ear. She's so baby. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like we've had so many back-to-back -back, like fun episodes and I'm really glad that we're officially pregnant with Gen 2. We're gonna have to pick a name. And I'm pretty sure, I was looking at my notes from earlier, Generation 2 is gonna focus, I mentioned this earlier. So Generation 1, which is who we're playing with now, Ray, she's Generation 1 of our little Horse Sims Legacy Challenge. She is focusing on social stuff. She has the party animal aspiration and she has been doing like ranch gathering parties. She's making this like social barn space at the farm, all that jazz. Um, 
but next generation is going to focus on nectar making so our next generation is going to like make and probably sell i'm hoping sell and like make a lot of money we'll cross our fingers but make and sell nectar um so i'm really really i'm just really excited to mess with that part of this pack because i really haven't touched the nectar making um like skill at all yet also heads up y'all we have an ad that's going to start in the next couple of moments as always i like to use the ad breaks to actually take a break step away for a moment i just want to see this aspiration yay okay perfect so we got to we got a gold medal on this party we got to the next section of the party animal aspiration we have a lot of events to to host and it's gonna be a good time Wow, everyone's talking about a lot of different things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave this here for a moment. I will be right back. We just finished our very successful party. We got to the next section of the party animal aspirations. Now we need to throw 10 social events, attend 15 social events, and earn gold on two throne parties. So I feel like this one will probably take us a little while to finish, but that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Oh, there's like so many. <laughs> I had so many socializations queued up, <laughs> but we're actually just going to head home. We also found out at this party that Ray is pregnant, which is very exciting. So we have our second generation Sim uh, on the way. Look at her. I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, what a big day. What a big day. Uh, also, if you're if you're just joining or if you're you're catching or like popping back in, we are playing a horse a horse focused legacy challenge slash playthrough in the sims um so this is like i basically i wrote a legacy challenge because i really appreciate um sort of like guidance and direction when i'm playing the sims uh and i really wanted to play with all of the newish horse ranch pack stuff um so I wrote a five generation legacy challenge, which I really just need to share out so that y'all can see it as well. Uh, but I wrote up a five generation legacy challenge where each generation of the challenge focuses on a different aspect of the um, Hi, kitty. of the horse ranch pack. So our first generation, which is who we're playing with now, this is Ray Gallup. Uh, Ray is focused on, there's like some new community and social things that came with the pack. So she made all of, she's like, when she works, which she has been mostly focused on throwing social events, but <laughs> when she was working and earning money, she used the community job board postings, um, which has been really cool. Uh, she's been taking care of her grandpa's horse and, and doing some horse stuff as well. Uh, but her, her kind of like main focus, like I said, has been like community stuff. Uh, so she's also, she has the party animal aspiration and she's thrown a bunch of parties. And I think her goal is really to like, you know, bond with the horse ranch area community. Um, she's thrown some parties at home too. She has like a, a, a barn that is like specifically for social gatherings. She's really walking all the way home, huh? I feel like we, I should have done the like travel thing to get her right home because she super has to pee. <laughs> mm, I am experiencing regret. When is she gonna like tell? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, when's the teleport happening? Uh, anyways, she's really focusing on social gatherings, uh, all that jazz. On our second generation, we'll focus on nectar making. Um, so that's something fun to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for being here, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying horse sims. <laughs> I have really enjoyed all of the horse, no, all of the sims playthroughs that I have worked on and started, but this might be, if not my favorite, then like in my top few faves. Uh, Cause I just really love all the, all the horse ranch pack stuff. Like it's just so fun. All right, let's get Ray to go to the bathroom immediately. And then we'll have her get some leftovers. And then I think she has some big news to share with Dwayne. He can also, let's have him check on his, oh no. Okay, let's have him harvest this.
And then he can run on inside to avoid the rain. <laughs> Tonks, my cat, who's sleeping right in this camera. <laughs> she woke up for like one second, stretched, and then immediately was like, okay, I'm, I'm back to sleep. That's enough for me. Oh, he wants to make coffee. Okay. And then I want to see if there's the option to... Sometimes there's like a socialization option that's like share big news. Oh, I can't believe this is broken. Let's just replace it. It's fine. We're having a baby. She doesn't need to worry about doing that. Yes. Let's have her share big news with Dwayne. Because we have some very exciting news. Ina. <laughs> They're so cute. Did she did she do it? Down him, yeah, to Bell. <laughs> oh, she's like, guess what? We're pregnant. He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is great. Okay, great. Everyone's excited. <laughs> I love that he's still in his gardening clothes from work. It's so cute. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he needs to increase his gardening skill for his next work promotion, but we can take our time with that. And, oh yes. Oh wow, that apparently, even though we like finished, somehow that last thing counted as a social event. So that's good, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, let's look at the calendar really quick. Tomorrow is a holiday, the lottery. Uh, but then Thursday is Harvest Fest, so I think what I want to do is plan a party for Harvest Fest, and I think, like, I feel like there's not going to be decorate holiday gnomes grand meal. Yeah, so, like, grand meal, we can just, like, do, like, we can make a grand meal and then just serve it to everyone for party. <laughs> So I want to see if we can do ad event. I feel like there's probably not going to be an event that's specific to Harvest Fest. Um, but I think what we want to do is have a dinner party. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that will make the most sense. Yeah. Host an incredible evening of culinary delights and mouthwatering table talk. Yeah, so we'll hire, or sorry, we'll host a dinner party Ray will be the host and we'll invite all of our friends as always. Although we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight seats at the table <laughs> and we're, we so far will have 12 people there. But we do have the bar seats and we can probably, oh, maybe we'll just bring our dining room table from our regular house and put it into the barn just for the day. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we'll have 12 people in total because we have 11 guests plus Ray is the host. And we won't have a caterer. Ray will cook. We'll have it at home. And we'll start not at 4 a.m. Let's start at like maybe at like 2 p.m. Because I feel like for Harvest Fest, which is I think Harvest Fest is supposed to be similar to like Thanksgiving, which like yuck. But I feel like starting it earlier in the day for the dinner party makes more sense because typically part of the thing is that we have to like cook food. So I think starting it earlier, starting at like 2 p.m. allows us to like cook food, eat food, and do all the socializing stuff before every all the sims are getting really sleepy. Yeah, that works. Boom, scheduled. Harvest Fest dinner party. Great, easy, perfect. Okay. Denali's scared. Anna. 
Dwayne's gonna try to help. And Ray's just gonna clean everything up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, maybe we'll... Hmm. We don't have a ton of space in, in this home. I'm realizing for a child. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how that's going to work. <laughs> because once the child is like child age, we can have the child have this bedroom up here. But when they're like a baby, infant, and toddler, they won't really be able to go up the ladder so hmm, i'm not sure if we want to like expand this area or just i don't know i'll have to think on it when they're like a baby baby we can just put the cradle thingy here so it's fine but <laughs> we might have to think on that might have to make a plan i guess we could just oh maybe what we can do is have the parents bed we can have Ray and Dwayne just sleep up here and have the the downstairs be the bedroom for like when the for when they're like a baby and a toddler and then swap when they're a kid and they can actually go up the ladder. Yeah, that's the plan. Boom, incredible plan. I hope I remember that when we're actually at that point. <laughs> oh, she just appeared in here and is cleaning. She just loves cleaning super into cleaning okay which okay today is tuesday so i guess tomorrow i feel like ray literally has the time to be able to host an event like every single day oh what if she hosted how soon is too soon to have a baby shower i don't remember how long sims are Okay, let me just like investigate this. Okay, what if tomorrow at event, because I think that's an option, right? Yeah, baby shower. Gold level rewards include a new bassinet. Do you have to have a baby already to have a baby shower or you would have a baby shower when pregnant, right? <laughs> Gather friends and family to celebrate the expansion of your household. Whether you're pregnant or adopting, bringing a new family member into your home is a major life moment worthy of some commotion. Okay, so I feel like we could host. <laughs> it's going to be like, okay, today, Sunday, we had a house party at a friend's house. Monday, house party at a friend's house. Tuesday, house party at a friend's house. Wednesday, baby shower. Thursday, harvest fest dinner. Friday, Dwayne's birthday party. It's like a full, a full entire week of parties. But I'm into it. I think we should just, I think we should just go for it. Why not? Ray loves hosting parties. I think that it's just, I think it's reasonable. She's just out in the rain cleaning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh yeah. I need to add trash, a trash can in here. All the horses are in a much better shape now, so that's good. Oh, he's happy from the big news. That's so cute. Okay. Let me check on everybody's needs. I think we can go to bed soon-ish. Dwayne has work in the morning. Oh yeah, it's late. It's way later than I realized. Everyone go to bed. Go to sleep. What are you fools doing awake right now? Okay, and before we like fully go to bed, I'm gonna plan, oh, it's already technically Wednesday. I'm gonna plan an event and we're gonna do the baby shower, which I'm sort of excited about because we haven't 
I haven't done this event type before, so I don't really know what to expect. I, f I do sort of wonder if we're gonna need to like get a bunch of special items for whatever it has, like whatever we have to do, but it'll be fine. Um, Ray will host. Dwayne's gonna go to work, but I feel like that's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like Ray is like, no, it's fine. It's gonna be, it's, I'll, I'll do the party. I feel like Dwayne is not, I don't know, the most excited about, oh wait, why am I? Oh, it's because I have, I'm, I have Dwayne selected. So I, I'm, I'm he, seeing, I'm seeing his friends. So let me do this again with Ray selected, baby shower. Ray will host. And then, oh, I forgot you can have like children there. All right, we're gonna invite friends. Are we really, who are, we're not, who are we even? Yeah, we want all of our like high school friends. Okay. Yeah. The same people that we invite to every single party, every single time. It's like always the same people, but that's fine. <laughs> all right. That's who we're inviting. Uh, Caterer and mixologist. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna need to eat and possibly have drinks, but we can just have it in the barn where we can make all that happen easy. Um, we'll have it at our own home and we'll do it starting, maybe we'll start at like 11 a.m. I hope that's not too early, but I feel like a daytime event makes sense. Yeah, sure. Boom. Okay, now everyone go to bed. Incredible. I'm very excited to see this event type because I have not seen it yet. Really, up until now, I this was like not intentional. I really enjoy like playing The Sims. I really enjoy legacy challenges because it often gives me an opportunity to like try things in The Sims that I might not try otherwise. Um, and truly in The Sims, I almost never host events. I don't know why. I just feel like I always forget that that's like a thing that exists. <laughs> so I sort this is like not totally intentional, but I sort of like that this is giving me an opportunity to like try all the different um, party types and event like social gathering types uh, that I haven't really ever seen before. Uh, Cause I, I truly wouldn't, I don't think that I would pick them up by myself, you know? Anyways, it's fun. I also think this, like I almost never have like weddings even in The Sims and we've had a wedding, like we've had a lot of different social events, which is fun. Okay, Dwayne has work at 6 a.m. I mean, at 8 a.m., so he's gonna go to work. Let's have him get up now and go to the bathroom and I think get some leftovers. He's uncomfortable because he has to pee, but that's an easy fix. And then Ray can sleep in a bit. She is gonna have her baby shower, but not until 11 a.m., so she's got some time. Boom. Also, it's lottery day, so I think that they're able to, like, I think they can all, what is it? Usually there's, like, an option to, where is it? Oh, maybe it, I bet it's like in the phone. How do they? There's a way to do it and I don't remember where. Oh, I bet it'll tell me if I hover over this. Purchase a lottery ticket via the computer or phone. Oh, that's all it says. Where is it? Am I, can I just not, do I just not know how it works? Where is the lottery ticket? Okay, it must be, no. Oh yeah, it's in shopping and I just couldn't tell. Purchase lottery ticket. It's lottery day. Why the heck not? Why not? Right, and he has work very soon. That's fine. Uncomfortable from dirty, what's dirty? Whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi, Teeny. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Horse Sims is going very well. Um, we had, we finished the next section, not, not of Dwayne. <laughs> we finished the third of four, the third section of the party anim party animal aspiration for Ray, our Sim, and she's pregnant. We're, oh, hello. We're having Gen 2 very soon, which is so exciting. Look at her. And we're having a baby shower for her today. We have had, we've had a party every single day of the week so far, <laughs> and we're continuing on that trend. So yeah, it's been good, I would say. All right, let's have her also, wait, wrong thing. Let's have her also purchase a lottery ticket. Why not? It's lottery day. We're gonna enjoy the tradition. All right, and then we'll have her also have some leftovers. And then she has like two-ish hours until her party starts. So I think we'll have her come over here and break in the kitchen in here. Why are you uncomfortable? What is dirty? I can't, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Let's have her cook something here. She can prep. What are you mad about? Oh, I bet there's spoiled food in the dish or in the in the fridge. I bet that's what it is. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna have her cook some food for the baby shower that she's about to host. And she can just make a lot of something. <laughs> Let's do Ooh, scones. That feels good. I think some like baked goods makes a lot of sense for a party. Um, also, I'm gonna see if I can open this up and just clean out the... I feel like there's probably something spoiled in here, right? Is it this empty plate? Yeah, those are fine. So it's not that. What is dirt? Oh, I found it. There was, there was horse poop hiding in the house. You know how that happens. Uh, Pa would be proud. Also, recently-ish, she discovered about herself that she's cheerful, which is incredible, particularly if you consider how gloomy she was as a teenager. But now Ray is like, you know what? No, life is good. I am happy. So I'm really proud of her. She's really grown. All right, but yeah, she's gonna cook some scones. Where is she? Oh, is she cooking them in here? No, I suppose that makes sense. I, I clicked on it over there, but I, we do have two, it's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her. She's tossing these knives around, my word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Harvest Fest starts tomorrow. Baby shower starts soon. Okay, wait, she prepped in there and now she's walking barefoot to the barn to put them in the oven in here. That makes sense, actually. I'm on board. You know, no, I'm on board. We gave our party social barn area a bit of a makeover. It has a, a small kitchen now. There's also a small and very sparsely decorated bathroom um and we have like a big dining table because we're planning on hosting a harvest fest dinner party here uh so yeah pretty cool i'm pretty jazzed she's just waiting on her scones just waiting on those scones <laughs> me when i'm baking i just stand in front of the oven like ah yeah I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, she's not feeling good. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, wait, where are you taking those? Just right here, right? Perfect. Oh, and then maybe mop this up. 
and let's start the baby shower. I'm really curious to see, okay, main goal, talk about the baby. Oh, easy. Second goal, gush about new baby. And third goal is take photos. Could not be easier. That is perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, you do not need to mop more. We just need everyone to look at them. Oh, Kiyoshi Ida was being friendly with Kronk. What a cutie. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh. Okay, I don't want them to go there though. I want them to come here. Uh, Kiyoshi Ida, are you gonna come this way? Come here. Is Tanali is just asleep standing up right in front of the door. That's fine. Hello, everyone come this way. Come to me. Come to me, I'm pregnant. You have to come to me. That's what Ray is saying, probably. Probably not, okay. Anyways, let's have her gush about new baby. Um, gush about new baby. She's so excited. Oh, this is so sweet. What is he? Guess new baby's future career. Okay. Aww, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, gosh about new baby. Gush about new baby. Thank a guest for coming. Oh, we can do that. Thank for coming. Hello. It's good to hear your voice, Ray. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Alex Moyer a little better as a friend. Yes, do it. Incredible. All right, let's see. Are there more? More like baby things we can talk about. Small talk. Hmm. Hello, I need to talk more about my baby. I just want the option to come up for me automatically. <gasps> nice, boom, did it. We talked about our baby sufficiently. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> How long are Sims pregnant? I really, I think it's like a, a handful of days. Like, I don't think it's very long. Let's tell everyone that there's food here. I think it's only a few days. Like, I think, like maybe it's like one day per like trimester possibly. I, I don't recall specifically. Oh, those look so good. Yummy, pumpkin scones. She crushed it. Enjoy the scones, everyone. Ooh, we can also take some photos. Let's take some photos with our friends. Let's see, oh, let's do, okay, let's go to photos. Let's do take photo with, oh, can we take a photo with like, oh no, it's just one person at a time. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll try to take a photo with several of our friends. We'll be like, oh, I just wanna remember this moment. So exciting, yay. Oh, friendship. <laughs> but let's take a couple photos. Take photo with Jacob, a true friend. And then take photo with, let's take a photo with Kiyoshi Ito because we just had a really sweet sentiment about enjoying spending time together. What you doing in there? Just taking a break. No, I get that. Understood, really. <laughs> a baby shower gift has been placed in your inventory? What? There are gifts? Oh, that's so cool. We got a toy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And a like um a a toilet, a potty, a kid potty? What I don't know what those are called. <laughs> This is so cool. I didn't realize you would get gifts from having a baby shower, um, which is pretty helpful and convenient, honestly. 
<laughs> nice, and Dwayne is home so he can come join in the fun. Come, coming out with us. This is great. Oh my gosh, he can get her a baby shower gift. That's so fun. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, nice. We're taking a photo together. Incredible. Look, there's a horse butt in it, as there should be. Oh, nice. That's good. Look at us. How sweet. Incredible photos. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, we're taking a photo with our werewolf friend. Love this. I wish the like photo section was just like a little bit, like I feel like it always cuts off so much, which is a bummer. Okay, good. I always forget to take photos of The Sims. Oops. <laughs> oh, but we can like hang up photos of our friends in this like social barn spot because like that would be so cute to be able to like have memories of events here in like hanging up here. Oh, I love it. Let's do, oh my God, this is so funny. Okay, let's do this one just cause it's hilarious. I love it. Oh my gosh, cute, okay. Boom, got our photos in. Great. Use celebration cannon. I don't know what that is. Did we not thank a guest for coming? We can do it again. I guess we don't really need to. I feel like I always do this where like, we've already finished. <laughs> we've already finished all of the things that we need to do to get, like we already have a gold medal event, but I'm a completionist. So I'm like, well, we can just keep doing those things. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dwayne is, is tending the bar. That's so cute. Why are we tense? Oh, okay. We were only tense briefly, only a little. Festering bitterness from feeling bitter about someone? About who? Beastly presence from being near a transformed werewolf? <gasps> she's mad? This is the first time that she's gotten mad about Jacob, Jacob being a werewolf. What the heck? Okay, well, I mean... I sort of get it but also he's your friend and he's always a werewolf why are you suddenly mad about that what other baby shower gifts we have some blocks okay cool we got several toys and like a child toilet thing so that's good great exciting how cool oh okay Nolly, you don't have to be inside of this barn with us. You don't need to be. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cute. Okay, I really like the baby shower event. It's very, like, it seems very easy to be able to, to complete, which is pretty cool. Um, and I really like the, like, um, the custom social in, or not custom but like the specific social interactions to talk about your baby is really cool uh and getting the like baby shower gifts was really really cute maybe she watched twilight recently oh my gosh yeah she saw twilight for the first time and was like you know what that's it i am i need a little time i am mad about werewolves i am solidly team edward <laughs> Oh no. Okay. 
KMCCC. I'm sorry for whatever I did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save the game really quick because I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't want to lose this. Oh my gosh. I think we're getting close-ish to the end of our party. Oh, Dwayne is focused. Is he cheering? No, but he what he must have been earlier. Maybe you could mop up. We'll have Dwayne do some cleanup. How are we doing in here? She looks so pregnant already. It's happening fast. But it doesn't say, right? Like, unwanted advice? Oh my gosh, someone gave her unwanted parenting advice. Oh, she has to pee. All right, let's see if we can, let's test out this toilet. Let's see if it works. Let's see if she can successfully make it to the toilet. <laughs> that'll be a good test of if, if this room works. So that'll be good. Unwanted advice. Also, she's still mad about I guess about Jacob. I don't know. All right, and then let's have Dwayne. What's he doing? Oh, he's cleaning up. Yeah. Okay, great. We'll have him clean this stuff up as well. What a guy. Look at him. He was already on his way in here to clean that stuff up. This is great. He's so sweet. They're so cute. I'm so happy for the Sims. And the toilet works. The ba the upstairs bathroom works. I am thrilled. This is great news. <laughs> I wasn't totally sure what would happen if I'm honest. So great, it works. Denali, oh wait, this is Dusty. Dusty, what's up? Yes, we got gold medal, which means Counted for, thro wait, what? Earn gold on two throne parties? Why did that not count? Maybe that doesn't count as a party event. Like maybe party has to be one of the ones that's like called a party, like a dinner party or a house party. But that's okay, we'll throw some of those as well. Oh, she's dancing. She's dancing, dancing. But we earned gold. Dwayne is cleaning up, like a, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Everyone went home. She's really happy from hosting a party. See, like this calls, this says hosting a party. We definitely got gold medal, but this doesn't count it as a party. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then we have tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we have our dinner party for Harvest Fest. <laughs> Every day is a party. Oh my gosh. Can't believe someone kicked over our trash can while they were here for our baby shower. That's so rude. She's dancing. All right, 6 p.m. How are we on like hungry and whatnot? How are our needs? Great, totally fine. Clara, when people trust you, Ray, they listen to you. And that's what you that's what you need to be a style influencer. Okay, everyone's trying to hire her, but she's like, no, no, no. I have my work cut out for me as a person who hosts parties every day of my life. There's an opening for a culture, hello, culture columnist. No, it's a client job offer. She's like, no, 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 I'm busy. Okay, she's gonna come back over here and do some cleaning. Could probably also have some leftovers when she's wait oh the available leftovers don't match ray's food preferences okay i guess i don't know what ray's food preferences are huh okay what all right all right she can cook some food i suppose what are her food preferences I thought the leftovers were vegetarian, but I guess I don't know. I don't know. Let's make mac and cheese. Crowd pleaser. We're gonna make a party size so that there's plenty of leftovers. 
then she can eat some of that. And I think we'll have her like eat some food and then go to bed. Easy. And Dwayne is cheering. He isn't great at it, but that's okay. Also, he sort of has to pee. Uh, he doesn't have work tomorrow because it's a holiday. So we'll let him cheer for, okay, no, never mind. He has to pee. Yeah, he has to pee. Um, but yeah, we'll have her cook. They can eat some, go to bed easy. I think after I send my Sims to bed, I'm going to call it here for the day. Uh, cause we had, today was like a very, very eventful day for these Sims. So I think, uh, at ending it at this day is a, a pretty good plan. And then tomorrow in the game, like to the games tomorrow will be Harvest Fest. Um, so we'll have, uh, we'll have our little dinner party, our Harvest Fest dinner party. And yeah, that'll be that. Did he just make a, a yuck noise? Is it like bad quality or something? It's excellent quality. Oh, hello, Kronk. Hi. Kronk was like, you pay attention to me. <laughs> Honestly, I love him. He's so sweet. He's so perfect. Oh, he's kind of dirty. I want her to finish her food and then we can have her. Oh, he's leaving. Never mind. <laughs> he leaves and another horse comes in. Okay, Dusty. Wait, let's check on their food actually. He's kind of hungry. Let's make sure. Yeah, they still have. Oh, there's only one left in here. Well, it's fine. He's fine. They're fine. She thinks that the plate is in her hand, but it is okay. <laughs> oh no. Hello at the Sims. Um, okay. It's fine. <laughs> He's brewing coffee. I just feel like maybe instead we should just go to bed, but that's fine. Whatever you want. Ooh. Dwayne seems to be enjoying this song. Should he embrace that he likes cottagecore music? Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, all right, horsies. Oh, what's, okay, what's wrong? Low fun, low hygiene. Okay, let's see if you can, no. You have, you're not in a great relationship. <laughs> let's brush coat and clean hooves and tell joke. Dwayne, you finish your coffee, even though we're gonna go to bed soon. And then, oh, perfect. You're eating, that's great. Okay, Dusty should, I don't know why Dusty's tense. It could be the rain, but who knows? Hard to say. When Dusty finishes eating, I think maybe Dwayne can refill this feeder because I think he's eating the last of the stuff in here. Okay, cool. So then we'll have him refill feeder. How's Ray brushing? Cool, 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 cool. Den uh, Denali's sad. Why are you sad? Hug. Okay, and then he can... Did you refill this? Okay. After he refills it, we can encourage Denali to eat, and then that's that. Okay, and then let's have... Dwayne, go to bed and clean that up. And then we can do, let's have you empty that and then go to bed. Everyone go to bed. Let's all go to bed, including the horses. Thoughts on that horses? Okay, I think Denali's gonna eat, which will hopefully cheer her up a bit. You're uncomfortable from what dirt? What's dirty? Why? 
Don't nap there. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep, sleep. Everyone go to sleep. We're all going to sleep. Why are you sleeping here? It's fine. Why? Just sleep in your perfect bed. It's right over there and probably much more comfortable. Yeah, okay. There you go. And maybe less dirty? Like, what's dirty? Oh, it's this sneaky little plate that blends in to the table. I bet that's what was bothering them. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna let them sleep through the night. Hello, the ghost of Pa is here. Taking photos? That's interesting. Okay. Nice, everyone is happy about the lottery. That's great. They're glad that they bought lottery tickets. Nothing makes sense in pregnancy, can confirm. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, you're right. Oh, she woke up at 3 a.m. desperately having to pee. Yep. That feels completely on brand. That feels totally reasonable. That's, yep, that feels like a pregnancy thing. <laughs> also, she's really hungry, even though she did just recently eat. So let's have her just like get leftovers in the middle of the night also feels reasonable. I feel like we're we're getting we're gearing up for probably many nights in a row where we do not sleep super well on account of we're about to have an infant baby. So why not get up at 3 a.m. to uh pee and eat mac and cheese, you know? Why not? Why not? What horse? Who? Denali, let us eat mac and cheese in peace. Why are you awake? Oh, poor Denali. Denali's still not having fun. Maybe next, maybe I need to do some research into the horses to figure out like what is gonna work for them to have fun because it feels like this is an ongoing thing. Whoever coded Sims pregnancy has obviously been pregnant themselves. <laughs> They're like, oh, I know exactly what to add in here. Oh, two horses. <laughs> oh, she's like, I don't feel good. My house isn't clean enough somehow, although I don't actually really know what's dirty. There are horses in my home. I just want to eat my mac and cheese. As soon as she finishes this mac and cheese, I'm gonna have her get back in bed and try to sleep the rest of the night. Even though she's fine on energy, I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like she could get in at least another like hour. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Bye horsies, go take a, go, go to sleep. Where are you going? Where are you going with that? Don't you dare. No, she's not, she wouldn't, she would, she is. No. Sorry, sometimes I feel like I just have to let it happen. She walked, she spent 30 minutes to walk all the way into this bathroom to clean off her dish. All right, well, go to bed. Wow. Look, and now Dwayne's awake. He's like, hello, good morning. What a brand new, beautiful day. <laughs> uh, all right, I am gonna pause the game here and save. The next time we start playing, we will pick up right here on Harvest Fest. We'll probably do some of these like decorations, be thankful things together in the morning. And then Ray is hosting and Dwayne will like also be hosting He's gonna be there as well. Uh, a Harvest Fest dinner party where all of their friends are gonna come over. Uh, they'll cook some dinner, whatever. It'll be really cute and I'm very excited. Uh, but that's where we'll pick up next time.